This is the Online Learning Podcast, episode number 57. Today's course creator interview is with Hugh Collingbourne, and he is a prolific creator of programming courses, and we're going to be learning a lot about those. I think I'd always like to start off by getting to know you a little bit better so that the online learning community can do so as well. So perhaps you could just introduce yourself and explain a little bit about who you are and what you do. Okay, so in terms of online teaching, I started really with Udemy a few years ago. I was one of the fairly early instructors back in, I think, 2011, in the summer of that year. But that had really come about after a lot of writing. I'd been a journalist, a technical journalist, for, oh, since the 80s, really, in mainly for magazines in Britain, such as Computer Shopper, PC Pro, PC Plus, and various other computer magazines. And then I wrote a book about the Ruby programming language called The Book of Ruby, which was published uh, by American publisher, No Starch Press. Um, and then I migrated over to Udemy and started teaching, first of all, Ruby, and now I teach a variety of other programming languages, C Sharp, Pascal, JavaScript, and C. And in the 80s, I then started, um, after I left university, I, I started writing as a freelance writer. And in fact, I was for, for a few years, I wrote uh, mainly interviews with pop stars for pop magazines and newspapers in Britain. And it all came about, this was at the time when the PC, the IBM PC had not long been launched. And there were some early uh, Apple computers around. So the personal computer revolution was just about starting really. And then the next big impetus for me to carry on programming was when I started playing adventure games. There was an adventure game called Zork, and I could not figure this out, that you could wander around in a landscape and open doors and go into houses and steal things, and the whole program would remember all the changes you'd made to this world. People kept asking me, but how do you get into the programming business? Um, on various courses, people saying, can you sort of summarize what are the options? I'm trying to choose a language. Should I go for Ruby? Should I go for Python? Um, I don't know where to start. Is C or Java? What, you know, where do I start? So then I did a, a, a course called Break into the Programming Business, which is like a really condensed overview of what the programming business is, what all the languages and technologies are, how, do you, how should you choose one if you're a hobbyist programmer or if you're a serious programmer, or if you're a manager, you don't want to program yourself or an entrepreneur that you're setting up a company, and you need to work with programmers. So that covered all that sort of area. JavaScript is used to program web pages mainly, and that was another course that I did. And finally, the, la the most recent course I've done is a C programming course, and that's it's a bit different, really, from the other courses I've done because C is quite an old language, still incredibly important. I mean, it's still one of the most important languages for professional programmers to know. But it's more difficult to explain. It, it makes greater demands, and you can fall into bigger problems. You can fall down bigger programming holes in C than you can with any of the other languages I previously taught. So that was quite an ambitious course to do, and it goes into a lot of detail to take people who've never programmed or who've programmed very little before from those first steps right through to the difficult stuff in C about using pointers. That's a, uh, dealing with memory uh, at, at a fairly low level in your computer. 